What's up, people? I wonder while I was still fresh on my mind, I wanted to go ahead and get a wrestling video out. Um, what I wanted to talk about today was the return of RVD. Um, you know, as we all know, he left TNA and came back to the WWE. Um, we saw a little teaser of his return in a couple weeks back back to um, Raw. Now, d don't know how long he's going to be there. But from last time I saw him in TNA, he looked pretty bad. I mean, he didn't really get, they really didn't show him much. And a lot of people said his reasoning for leaving was him not getting, they they weren't showing him as much. Um, just, just the matches I saw him in, he, he just, he didn't, of course he's not going to be the same guy, the athletic guy, jumping all around the ring. I mean, he's not going to be that guy anymore. I mean, we're talking about one of my favorite wrestlers. I still hold him to a high standard. I know I shouldn't, but, I mean, that that, that was one of the bright spots to, to me for Raw. Um, I know I didn't mention that the other day on Bruce Blitz's Raw review, but, it's nice to see him come back, you know. He's a legend. Definitely a legend in the uh, eyes of the hardcore fan wrestling fans. And I myself was one that watched it in the 90s, you know. Kind of went went away from watching wrestling, you know, with the whole WWE and the PG and John Cena. A lot of that, a lot of that bullshit. Um, but seeing him back, you know, kind of, I, I want to see how... I want to see him out there in the ring, you know. It, is his heart still there? We know his body isn't there as much. But if his heart's there, and I, I think he still can pull out some really decent matches, and you know. Especially if they put him in with the right person. Put him in with somebody like CM Punk, you know, etc. They, they need to put him in with, with a guy with some talent. And... I don't know. It's hard to say because uh, without being a super biased, you know, I want to see him go out there and <laughs> jump through tables. And even though WWE really has went away from all that hardcore stuff, man, you you won't see nothing close to ECW in today's era. Not even with TNA. And TNA is pretty good, but I could kind of understand his reasoning for leaving. Um, for one. I'm sure WWE will pay him more because, as you saw, during his teaser, he got a huge pop from the crowd, the RVD chants. Um, and I myself went to Twitter and was like, you know, I, I was hearing about him returning. I, to me, it's a, it's a big thing. It's going to get me to watch Raw when, when he does show up, you know, just to see just to see how, how what he does on the mic, who did – who they put him in a few with? Please don't let it be fucking Cena. <sighs> who who they put who who they put him in a storyline with? Hopefully, I I'm hoping it's CM Punk. I think CM Punk is um has a lot of talent and well they those two will put on some good matches. But in the '90s, man, RVD was the man. You know, I I kind of want to go back on a little history of some of my favorite matches with RVD. Um, first one that comes to mind is um, Jerry Lynn match in 99 Which was one of, the, one of his best matches And one of the best matches of the 90's um, Matches with Sabu I mean you're talking about some of the most athletic wrestling matches Ever um, it's, I could still go back and watch those matches I mean You can dig up the footage somewhere on the internet I mean It's out there um, Him versus RVD versus Taz the matches were amazing, and, you know, his, his main selling point has always been his athleticism. And I still think he has just a little bit left, but from watching TNA, you know, you could tell his heart wasn't in it. So, I'm really looking to see what he does with the WWE, you know. How long will he stay? Will he be a part-time guy like uh, Chris Jericho? Will he be there to pit over some of these other guys? Is he there kind of like how, how how they use The Rock where The Rock would come out and, you know, they knew he was a fan favorite wherever he went. 
And they knew that he was going to get them ratings. He was going to sell tickets. I mean, RVD won't sell it like The Rock. He won't sell tickets like The Rock. But I kind of got a feeling that, fortunately, they brought him back. They brought him back to pick guys over. Um, maybe piss somebody like CM Punk over or whomever he's in a storyline with. Um, but I'm looking, looking to see what, what they do with him. Um, hopefully he has control over his character. You know, obviously he's going to have control of the character and they're not going to change the RVD thing, obviously. But will he have control over how the storylines go turn out or it just stuff like or the matches because most matches today are done in spots where it's got a high you got high risk maneuvers i still think he can do that but not like he used to even though he probably thinks he can i mean we know he has a big ego and he's gonna want that go out there and show that he still has it we all know he's not the same guy. He's 42 years old. I mean, he passed your athletic prime, dude. But it's, it's good to see him go back out there, you know. And we'll see if WWE doesn't bury him like they do everyone else. And, you know, all the legends they've took a big dump on, buried him with the shovel. And, you know, we all know the guy they put in place of name starts with a J. <laughs> I was I will say no more. I got a separate video trashing him. But um, let me know what you think. Um, uh, what do you think about the John? I mean, ah, fuck, I'm thinking about John Cena. Shit. What, what do you think about RVD returning? Um, is it gonna be? Is it something you want to see, or is it meh? He he doesn't have it anymore. He's, he he's old and washed up. The WWE won't use him right. Uh, let me know what you think. I will be tuning into it to see one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. Just let me know what you think. Remember, remember to like and subscribe.